two, one, go. 61-71 for the Red Alliance. Going for a quick score. That's chain reaction out of Plano Senior High. 43-55, just missing delivery, but 3-0-5, 3,005, the Robo Chargers with a good autonomous delivery of their gear. At the completion of the autonomous mode, tied up 75-75 when one, two minutes and 10 seconds remaining in qualifying match 69. Human players now charging across. Red Alliance has the number two, and Blue Alliance has the number two and three ranked team. That is Emmett J. Conrad High School and Sepulpa High School up against the Red Alliance, Power Eagle, Faraday, and Chain Reaction. Six robots being handled very masterfully out there. Very quick robots on the field for this match. Look at 23-33 cutting across that screech. As 56-96 now, Faraday tries to get something going here for the Red Alliance. Faraday getting directions at the load station, backing up, getting back in there. 61-71 and 3-0-5 for the Blue Alliance. Mixing it up a little as 3-0-5 delivers another gear to the Blue Airship. Red Airship now has two rotors turning. Blue Alliance has two. Very close right now, 140 to 115, 25 point lead for the Blue Alliance with 70 seconds remaining. A lot of defensive tactics in this match as 5411 tries to get loaded by at the load station. Here comes 5411 for the Red Alliance. That is the Power Eagles of Prosper, Texas. 3005 delivering yet another gear. 3005 Screech out of Sepulpa, Oklahoma. And 4355, that is CP Bots for Gomez Palacio Durango, Peñoles. Counting down to the steam whistle. Steam whistle coming up. You'll hear that blow, and then the pilots will make the determination or they go drop their ropes. There's the whistle. Ropes are down. Ropes are down, courtesy of the pilots. Fifty-four eleven, trying to get up off the ground. There goes fifty-six ninety-six. Look at sixty-one seventy-one for the Red Alliance up in the air, ready to take flight. With ten seconds remaining, we're tied up two thirty to two thirty. 